You light up my life, you light up my life When you're in my world You light up my life, you light up my life Will you be my girl? Patrick Madler, bbblogs.com. Today I have the pleasure to interview the contestants of Malta Eurovision, and this time it's Stefan Gallia with Hello. the Eyes of My Life. It's a pleasure. <laughs> how are you? How, how, how was the rehearsal? I'm really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, obviously, I had quite a few butterflies before I went up on stage, <laughs> but it was amazing. As long as I had fun, I was happy. And even vocally, I felt really comfortable. So, so um, how, how did your performance work? Like, how, how did you start? Did you, like, your influence? are in, in the staging. Tell us more about it. Um, actually, I had my choreographer, Christina Schranz, who was taking, who was in charge of all the dance numbers that were going on. Um, she sorted out the positioning on stage. She also did, you know, a dance routine for the backing vocals because we didn't want just two backing vocalists standing there and just singing. We wanted them to get into the vibe and feeling of the song because it's quite a feel-good song. It's, you're expressing your love and happiness towards someone that you really, really desperately long to be with. And for this I would like to also thank my composer and producers, Ilvan Linda Persson, for bringing out the message that we wanted. So how was working with them, as they're not Maltese? How, how was yes, um, actually, we got in contact quite a while ago, I believe it was last year. Um, they offered me a number of songs, but as soon as I heard Light Up My Life, I instantly knew, yes, I said, this was the one, definitely. Um, we also did some changes to the production because knowing me, I also um, want to get involved, you know, in the way that the track is being built up. So I was very happy that they took our comments and criticism on board and they changed accordingly, you know, to suit our needs. <laughs> so it's actually not your first time, like, part, like being <coughs> part of MESC, as it's your yep. third time. I was in Junior Revision back in 2009. Um, yes, um, last year, these past two years, um, um, I made it to the first phase mm -hmm. semi-final. This year I was third time lucky and I feel very, very grateful to be here. Now the third time as you're singing in the semi-final as third as well. Oh my god, yeah. you just pointed that out. It's true, I mean, it's, it's, it, maybe it means something. Maybe it means something. True. <laughs> I think number three has quite a lucky association with me nowadays. Thank you for pointing that out. Ah, yes, maybe that will be your lucky number now. You yes, never know. Fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. Now, on the, on the stage itself, what was your first thought when you went on stage? I said, oh my god, this is so overwhelming, how am I going to get through this? But I was so, so happy, because that's where, that's where I assured myself that you can really, really do this as soon as I finished the first rehearsal, the first time I went up on stage. So, so like, what does your vision represent for you? Well, Eurovision represents quite a huge opportunity, not quite a huge opportunity, it's a huge platform here, it's so big and so popular that I know it's going to open up so many new doors for me. Mm -hmm. So basically, Eurovision, a lot of people, a lot of million people are watching all around the globe. What uh, if you really win and go to Stockholm? You, you face that it will be so many people watching. Well, to be honest, it's quite a huge responsibility. At times it's also pressure. But if you focus and really, really work hard on your performance, you would be able to get through it. If you really love music, you would get lost in your performance. You wouldn't even think that 100 million, 100 million viewers are watching you. So, for example, today, uh, at least the reaction I got, I forgot everyone who was watching mm -hmm. and I completely shut myself in into that performance and mm -hmm. focusing entirely on my vocals and also the performance in general really mm -hmm. so maybe is it possible for you to sing a part of your song yes, for your fans and readers of Wii Blocks you light up my life, you light up my life When you're in my world You light up my life, you light up my life Will you be my girl? The way you turn me on tonight We should be turning off the lights You light up my life, whoa My life, my life, my life Awesome. I mean, you can hear Thank that you, you rehearsed a lot. 
yes. how many th- how many times do you rehearse vocal technique every every single day every single because day. i believe all right the performance in general is very important it's very important to have a dance routine but my main focus definitely was the vocals because okay. it's quite a tough song to pull off because you know you have so many um there's a number of beats per minute going on so you need your breath you need your energy and you need you need to make sure that your vocals are every time on point mm-hmm. and you we see you quite often with your mother yes like is she the person who gives you the most like the power to do all this or no um to be honest my mom never pushed me into music it was always you know i always wanted to do this i always saw myself doing this my mom is my manager she handles all my pr all my, my media appearances i'm collecting my outfits here and there i know i wouldn't be able to do it all without her so So thanks mama. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> so you will perform now today uh, as the third um, in the MEC semi final. Uh, we wish you all the best. Good luck for you and Thank your you song. And if you would like to vote for if Steph you like the song, Dan, of course. <laughs> uh, and you're living in Malta, then you should tune in TVM and vote also for Stefan. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. All the best for you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.